Good morning students. Today class 4 we are going to take up the new chapter chapter number 19 that is calendar. Children every one of us has seen a calendar. You have also seen what do you see in the calendar? We see days of the week. Yes and months of the year. So days of the week we know that there are 7 days in a week. A week starts with Monday and it ends at Sunday. After which again comes Monday. The same cycle goes on repeating. Children note that the same day comes after 7 days. Months of the year. We know that there are 12 months in a year. First month of the year is January which has 31 days. February that has twenty eight days or twenty nine days. Children, a February a year that has twenty eight days in February is called an ordinary year. And when in February we have twenty nine days, that year is known as leap year. Third month is March. It has thirty one days. April thirty days. May thirty one days. June thirty days, July thirty one days, August thirty one days, September thirty days, October thirty one days, November thirty days, and December thirty one days. So, children, calendar is the record of all the dates and days of a year. Now, children, what is an ordinary year and the leap year? that i have told you earlier we will explain it more what is century the year divisible by 100 is called a century this each one of the years like 1800 1900 2000 2100 is a century what is the leap year the year other than a century divisible by 4 as well as century divisible by 400 is called a leap year when you have to calculate a leap year we divided by 4 if a year is divisible by 4 then it is a leap year otherwise not let's understand with some examples example 1 as you see children each of the years 2000 2004 2008 2012 2016 is a leap year because they all are divisible by 4 second out of the years 1900 1991 1995 1997 2010 2011 2013 2015 no one is a leap year if you try to divide them by 4 you will not be able to so february 2000 if you try to divide them by 4 you will not be able to So February of a leap year has twenty nine days. There are thirty six days in a leap year. The year which is not a leap year is called an ordinary year. So each one of the years nineteen hundred, nineteen ninety three, nineteen ninety four, nineteen ninety five, nineteen ninety seven, so on is an ordinary year. So February of an ordinary year has twenty eight days. There are three sixty-five days in an ordinary year. Let us now compute the number of weeks in a leap year and an ordinary year. We know that a leap leap year has three sixty-six days, and a week has seven days. So when we will divide three sixty-six by seven, we get fifty-two as a quotient and two as a remainder. So we can say that. A leap year has fifty-two weeks and two days. Now, an ordinary year has three sixty-five days. If we divide three sixty-five by seven, we get fifty-two as a quotient and one as a remainder. So we can say that an ordinary year has fifty-two weeks and one day. Thus, a year has fifty-two full weeks. Let's understand how to find leap year with the examples. Example: Which of the following are leap year? 
A is nineteen ninety four, B is two thousand four, C is nineteen hundred, and D is two thousand. So, children, what we are going to do, as I have told you earlier, we divide the given year by four. So, the number, the year that is divisible by four is a leap year. Otherwise, it is not a leap year. Nineteen ninety four is not a leap year since we cannot divide it by four. Hence. It is not a leap year, but B two thousand four is a leap year since two thousand four is divisible by four. Now the C is nineteen hundred. It is a century year. For it to be a leap year, it must be divisible by four hundred. But we cannot divide nineteen hundred by four hundred, so nineteen hundred is not a leap year. The last one two thousand is a century year too. But it is divisible by four hundred, so two thousand is a leap year. Another type of question: If fourth October in a certain year was Wednesday, what was the day on twenty seventh October in that year? Children, we know that the same day is repeated after every seven days. So the dates for Wednesday in October. After fourth were eleventh, eighteenth, and twenty fifth. Thus, twenty fifth October was Wednesday. Hence, twenty seventh October was Friday. So, answer is it was Friday. Now, let's move to the another example of in a certain year, fifth May was Friday. What will be the day seven days after fifth May of that year? B part is what will be the day fifty one days after fifth May of the that year? Since the same day is repeated after every seven days, so the day seven days after fifth May is the same as that on the fifth May. So this day must be Friday. B part the day forty nine days after fifth May will be Friday. Same day will repeat after seven, fourteen, twenty one, twenty eight, or forty nine days. So the day fifty one days after fifth May will be Sunday. Let's see another question. How many days are there from twenty first March to seventeenth April? To find the number of days from twenty first March to seventeenth April, first we'll see how many days are left in March. Days left in March is equal to thirty one minus twenty, that are eleven days. So days in April will be seventeen. Total number of days is equal to eleven plus seventeen, that is twenty eight. So there are twenty eight days from twenty first March to seventeenth. April. Another question: Find the number of days from eighteen February two thousand sixteen to nine September two thousand sixteen. Children, two thousand sixteen is divisible by four, so the year two thousand sixteen is a leap year. Thus, February has twenty nine days in two thousand sixteen. Now we have days in February. Twenty nine minus seventeen is equal to twelve. After the children, we will write the number of days in the year in the following months. Like days in March thirty one, days in April thirty, days in May thirty one, days in June thirty, days in July thirty one, days in August thirty one, days in September are nine. So total number of days will be two hundred and five. Hence, there are two hundred and five days from eighteen February two thousand sixteen to nine September two thousand sixteen. Hope you understood the chapter. Have a nice day.